don't you think it's weird that we spin and the water doesn't fall off the, the plant? Somehow, magically, no, it's, it's gravity. It's just the crazy reason. thing about it, though. This is the crazy thing about it. I don't know shit about that. All I do is just watch some space documentaries. We're fed. I used to be addicted to space documentaries. And then when you watch this documentary, you find and you find out why we believe what we believe. And, the, you know, the timeline of uh, a Ptolemy to Copernicus to Kepler to Galileo and all that, 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 that timeline of what people thought and believed and everywhere was always a battle of all these astronomers studying the, the lights in the sky. That's all they saw was the lights in the sky. Stunning goes, everything goes this way except those wandering stars. And then they figured out those wandering stars were planets. And they're like, okay, those are the planets because they're the only ones that are on their own course. So they're all trying to figure out, is the universe spinning around us or are we spinning around the universe? That's always the fucking, that's always been, we think like, like I always thought, oh, they're dumb back then. They thought, they, they thought the, the world uh, was the center of the universe and all that shit. And you look back at that, you don't really look into, unless you know the actual timeline, it's crazy hearing all these scientists going like, and you hear them explaining what, how it all went down. Once you go through that whole, the whole story of what we think about space and all that, they tell you, they tell you, we don't know shit. We're looking at a bunch of lights in the goddamn sky. You're gonna tell me that that light and that light, that's 250, 100 trillion light years away? How the fuck did you figure that out? And How you look, well, don't they have an explanation for that shit? No, exactly. That's what every, what you just said oh. right now. What you just said now is what everyone's oh, natural go? reaction. Because anytime someone says anything about space, you automatically think, Someone figured it out. You don't know the guy's name. You don't know the name of the experiment. You didn't look into it yourself. You just think when someone tells you, how far is the Earth from the sun? They'll say, oh, 93 million miles away. Like you just, right. you, you, Google everybody it. relies on someone figured that out and someone double checked it. Dude, it's math, right. it's science, it's math, but no one really knows. You're going on what you read and whatever hits you first. You mean no one like that we're talking to? Yeah, like, I don't know. Someone I mean, if has I told been measuring you, this stuff. Yeah, if I told you. I don't know how yeah, they measure if I told it, but I'm you sure right there's now, like a logical method yeah. of measurement. They, they, they've got it figured out totally. in calculation. I just don't know what the method they use. Someone figured it out. You don't know the guy's name. Right. You don't, there's names of experiments. Like, you could actually look at it. Right. You look at there's an experiment called the Michelson-Morley experiment. They tried to prove that the Earth was moving. So, that, so they, uh, they, they, they assumed, like, that the space is filled with an ether. Like, that's what dark matter maybe is, or dark oh. energy. 